Let's say that you want to plot some points, such as these locations, that have been imported from Microsoft Excel. The first step is to add column titles by right-clicking on the top row of each column. In the process, we'll also specify what type of data is contained within that column. In the case of this first column, we'll title it with the word title. To move to the next column, we click the green arrow at the right edge of the dialog box. This column contains the point longitude, so we'll title it longitude and set it to an X or Y coordinate specified in degrees. Moving on to the next column, we'll title it latitude and designate it as an X or Y coordinate also specified in degrees. Notice how the program now shows the designated units within the second row. By the way, if you have longitude latitude data that isn't specified in decimal degrees, don't worry about it. Notice in this example how some of the data is expressed in decimal degrees, while some is expressed in degrees minutes seconds notation, while some is expressed as degrees and decimal minutes. Rockworks will take this annotation into account and convert the data accordingly. At this stage, we're ready to plot the data by selecting the Points, Icons, Symbol option from the main Earth Apps menu bar. In this menu, we select which columns contain the X and Y coordinates. Notice how this ability to select columns allows your input data columns to be in any order that you like. This eliminates the need to move columns around within the data sheet in order to accommodate the program. So let's get back to specifying the X and Y columns. In this example, that would be the columns labeled Longitude and Latitude. If we want labels, we check the Include Labels option. Expand the sub-options by clicking on the little plus sign next to the Include Labels option, and select the column that contains the label title. In this case, that would be the column that we named Title. Press the Process button, and voila, a point map. Now that was easy because our input consisted of longitude latitude coordinates. But what if we don't have longitude latitude? What if we have UTMs or Universal Transverse Mercator, a common output from GPS devices? Or state plane coordinates? Or even local coordinates? Not to worry. Notice in the column setup menu, accessed by right clicking on the first row of the column, that you can specify these other coordinate systems. Just select the system that you want. If any of the columns contain coordinates other than degrees, the appropriate coordinate projection and zone information will appear along the right side of the worksheet. For example, if you've designated any columns as UTM feet or meters, the program will provide options for designating the UTM datum and zone. If any of the columns use state plane coordinates, you'll see an option for selecting the state plane zone. And finally, if you've selected a local coordinate system, you'll see options for designating the longitude latitude for the local coordinate system origin or zero zero point. This is how Rockworks knows how to convert your coordinates to the decimal longitude latitude that Google Earth expects. In the case of the Rockworks utilities, this is how the program knows how to convert your coordinates to the specified output coordinates and units. What's also really great about this new coordinate system is that Rockworks will store all of this information, column titles, column coordinate designations, projection and zone information, within the datasheet file 
so that you don't have to repeat this setup every time that you load that file. Thanks for watching.